Checkers is now smart enough to go towards it with the help of the directional sensor. Now you'll see how to use the homing robot circuit to grab an object. First you need to activate the grabber. Use the in same room sensor inside Checkers. First disconnect the sensor from the antenna and then wire the sensor to the grabber and in control input. Uh, okay, so I need to have Checkers with me first of all. Turn off the remote control and take checkers with me. Um, okay, so use the in the same room sensor. Um, wire the sensor to the grabber control input. Okay, so I'll disconnect the current connection and wire this sensor to the grabber input, like so. Take checkers with you. Because there is a square in this room, the grabber control is on. Look inside checkers to see. And if I turn on the remote control and go inside checkers, indeed, see this uh, this line is active now, so the grabber is activated. Now bring the token back outside of checkers. Checkers will home in on it and grab it. Take checkers into the next room. Have to go back and get the token from here. Now if I drop it, and turn on the remote control, Checkers grabbed the token. Okay, and we'll take Checkers into the next room. What happened when Checkers came into this room? Since there is no square in this room, the sensor connected to the grabber control turned off, and Checkers dropped the token. And indeed it did. See, the token is sitting down there and Checkers is still trying to home in on that token, but, oops, yeah, but, uh, but Checkers has dropped the token, the grabber is no longer active because the sensor turned off since there is no square in this room. Do I still need Checkers? Uh, let's see, this directional sensor is pointing toward the triangle. Since there is a square in the room, Checkers grabber is on. Let Checkers grab the triangle. Okay, hold on. And, uh, do I need to move checkers on top of the triangle? There we go. I moved checkers on top of the triangle and checkers grabbed it. Now the directional sensor is off. Sensors can't detect an object that a robot is holding. Take the sensor with you. So I guess I leave checkers here and take the sensor with us now. This is a sensor editor. Use it to change the shape of a sensor. Pass the directional sensor over it to change it from a triangle sensor to a square sensor. Let's see, how do I... Do I need to drop it? Maybe I need to baby step? There we go. Yeah, I had to baby step. Now it became a square sensor. You can verify that it senses squares by taking it into the previous room. There is a sensor editor in the town in Robotropolis, and there are several in the Innovation Lab. Okay. Sensors are very useful. There are just three things to remember about using them. Sensors can't detect an object that you or a robot are holding. The object must have the same shape as the sensor to be detected, and the remote control must be on. There are a lot of sensors and sensor editors in the Innovation Lab. The Innovation Lab in this game is basically just, um, it's just an experiment room. It's not really part of the main game. It's just, it's kind of where you go when you finish Robotropolis and want to experiment. I'm probably not going to do any videos in the Innovation Lab because it's just, it's like a sandbox or a playpen. There's no objective. You're just going to fool around. If you want to experiment with it, you should download the game and play with it yourself. But um, yeah, I'm just going to do Robotropolis. You might want to go there and just experiment with the sensors. Before you continue Robotropolis, you will find it helpful to learn about the toolkit and some robot circuits. Then you'll be ready for hours of fun in the subway and town. Okay, that's the end of the sensors tutorial, and if I go through here, yeah, it's just a shortcut to the start of the tutorial. Okay, that's done. I should probably do, um, yeah, I should probably do the toolkit as well, so I'll do the toolkit in the next video. Okay, I'll see you then, everyone.